Hi, my name is April. I'm going to be talking to you today about aseptic non-touch technique. So here I've already got my patient who's well, well and prepared. They've been positioned well, appropriate for them and for me to access the wound. They've had good analgesia prior to this so that we can really get in involved with the dressing and give it the appropriate cleaning. The patient has consented and informed and provided some education about this task as well. I'm going to go ahead now and grab my equipment. So I've already prepared my trolley. I've made sure I've cleaned it down prior to doing this task with Clinelle wipes. I have some hand sanitizer and all my other equipment and my waste disposal here. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this bed to a good working height for myself to protect my back. Very good. And I have a bluey here, which I'm just going to pop under the patient near the wound area to catch any exudate or dripping that occurs while I clean the wound. I'm going to grab my dressing pack, making sure it's in date as well. And get that all set up. So my first fold out is going to be away from myself. For this particular type of dressing pack, the second one will be towards myself, then to the right and to the left, following the tabs. Going to tip it out carefully. Grabbing my cleaning solution. Again, taking care not to lean over my field too much more than necessary and put my solution in the little tray there. So I'm going to do it from a good height, approximately 10 centimetres. Not so high that it splashes everywhere, but not so low either that I break my sterile field. I'm also going to get my dressing and pop it in the tray there. Um, whatever's going to be most appropriate for your wound at the time. For today, we're going to use this product. Going to do some more hand hygiene. Making sure, of course, before I've started this task, I make sure that I am bare below the elbows, no watches or rings, and that I've done a procedural hand wash as well. Going to carefully pick up one pair of my tongs without touching anything else and then use that first pair to pass my second pair of forceps to my other hand. Then I can freely place things where they need to be, popping my cotton balls in the solution. I've got my drying gauze and a sterile towel is there for use. Making sure your cotton balls are nice and wet with the solution, not drying them out too much because the wetness is what's going to actually help get the solution into the wound and give it a really good clean. So I want to clean it nice and fairly firmly so that we're actually getting all of the debris and other matter off. And this is why analgesia beforehand is really important. Notice too that I'm working in a circular motion for this type of wound, cleaning from the inside out and making sure that I clean the peri wound as well as the wound bed itself. Always be careful too when you pop your waste in the bin that you don't actually contaminate yourself by touching the trash, can, the trash bag. Now I'm going to dab my wound dry. And because I'm finished with my tongs for the moment, I'm just going to pop them to one side on the edge of my sterile field, handles facing out. With my dressing that I've already grabbed out, they are designed so that the inside can remain sterile while you apply the dressing. So I'm going to very carefully take the backing away without touching the inside. I'm 
This part might be slightly trickier depending on where you're dressing and apply. Obviously every area is a little bit different to dress, but trying to avoid where possible creases in the dressing um, as this will let in potential microbes and moisture, things like that, which is not ideal for the longevity of the dressing. Now I'm going to discard my equipment here, popping it in my waste bag. I'm going to remove my gloves. Hand hygiene again. And I'll take a black pen to document on the dressing the date that it was changed, whatever that may be for that day. I'll take my equipment away, clean my trolley down, dispose of my waste in the appropriate receptacle and make sure that I attend to all the documentation that's required.